interesting afternoon for the cobblers today. Um, you were ahead at half time and beaten over 90 minutes. What are your thoughts on that? Very disappointed. Um, uh, we were on the front foot first half. I thought we caught with how they played. I thought we uh, we, we took the lead and uh, and come out. With, they made two changes at half time, which improved them. Big Hanson and Marshall coming on. We know what Marshall's like. He's, it was them two, the combination for the goal away from home when we got beat one 0 And uh, I thought the changes for them made us, they made them better. Aaron Phillips pulled his hamstring at half time, uh, which is a blow. But two right backs were down injured, and uh, <clears throat> and we, we've had to put Xander on as, as a defender, knowing that Big Hansen's going on with it, with his presence, and we needed to to compete. What disappoints me more today is sometimes you you got a group of players that are too honest, and I've just said that to them because they want to defend. And sometimes they want to camp on the edge of the box and defend, and sometimes attack is the best form of defence. And, and I sort of said to them, by their honesty, too much at times will will cost you against good teams that will have got the ability and, and, and quality in the team to break you down. And uh, and they certainly done that with a Marshall strike, and then we just invited pressure. Um, you know, I'm screaming on the side to get us up the pitch and uh, and. and and get Revs and Rico so every time we clear the ball, at least there's somebody up there competing and, and, and not having that wave of attack after we had. But you know, we, we done it, we allowed them to do it for 45 minutes, which is really, really disappointing. When you say they're too honest, um, Rob, do you mean that they, they were too defensively minded, sitting a bit too deep today? Yeah, I think yeah. they were. What I mean by too honest, you know, I ask, I always ask one of the front men if we play two up top to drop in on the deepest midfielder. What I don't ask them to do is, when we've when we've cleared our lines, is to stand on the edge of the box and then continue to, to defend. You know, then we've got to then we've got to get back to our shape as soon as possible, so that when we do get to clear the ball, at least then we've got somebody competing with the two centre halves, and it's not wave of attack after wave of attack. We're inviting pressure back in the box, and we got punished again from from doing it. You know, it's uh, it's against a team that are fourth in the table today by one goal. Boxing Day, um, it's against a team that went top by one goal. Um, but we're punishing ourselves by our, by our uh, by the way we we approach it, and, and like I said, it's you know we've got to learn, we've got to learn from it. Just deal with Aaron Phillips. He, he said he was injured and he went up half time. You're ready without Maloney. Can we expect to see him going to the the loan market maybe this January and bring in another fullback because you know Xander Diamond, with the best in the world, is is not his natural position, is it? No, of course he's not. And but you know we we knew we had to put a defender on because of the threat Hanson. I yeah. knew at some stage Hanson was going to come on. I didn't see that he was going to come on at half time until I actually walked out and saw that. So, you know, um, it would have been unfair to put a midfielder right back because we knew they would have put Marshall on him and he's probably one of the best wingers in this league at this moment in time. So we had to go with a defender. Um, it wasn't ideal, you know, Aaron's, uh, he's pulled his hamstring and, and we were forced into that change, which is which is disappointing because, like I said, there's two right backs. Mm. So that's an area now that we've got to, we've got to address and look at. It. You took up John Joe at all towards the end, you placed him with Jack McCall. What was the thinking behind that choice? We needed to keep the ball. We needed to keep the ball. First half, John Joe had a good game, probably one of the best games he's he's had in a long while. And then second half, I didn't, I didn't see that from him. I thought he was just sat on the edge of the box and we invited pressure. Not just him, I'm not just saying that about him. I thought all of us, Matty Taylor, John Joe, um, as a back four, we allowed it to happen as well. But. Having played in defence myself, when you're cleaning the ball and it's coming back to you, you can't get up the pitch, you can't squeeze the pitch. So with John Joe's substitute, I knew Jack would get on the ball and, and try to keep us, keep it for us. I put Greg on with his pace to try and be another outlet. And uh, he, showed, he showed a glimpse of it on the counter once on the, on the right hand side when he broke. Good link play with Sam, but little, too little too often, you know, and, and, and the, the, the chances are that were few and far between. So. Uh, a real disappointing afternoon, and like I said, I'll, I'll take the criticism from, from the supporters. No problem with that. We uh, we've lost a home game that we were leading, and that's that is hard to take. 